saw on that play with two seconds left, uh, they called that got to Paolo. You know, what did you see on that play, and what were you trying to get? Uh, well, they did a great job of pushing Paolo off the spot, trying to get him a curl to that basket, uh, screening our own in, and they did a great job of pushing him off the spot, and making him a catch, a, making a catch a little further out than needed. Obviously, the first game with the Kings went to double overtime. You guys have you guys have had some crazy ones against them. Just what can you take away from a, a game like tonight, where you know it's it's back and forth, it's it's high high stakes late. I mean, 19 lead changes. You know, tied 13 times. I mean, that's the battle we've had with them. I mean, similar to the game there, uh, with being able, being down bodies at the same time. But again, our, the the poise, the resilience, the ability to fight back uh, as they go on their runs. And we'll just have to keep looking at these films and how we can learn from these situations. In addition to that final shot, what did you want on that play before the final shot, where you guys had multiple chances? What was what was um, what were you wanting there? I mean, I don't know that you can get better. We had two layups at the rim, missed a three. Um, I just think you know you get great looks at that. They just didn't happen to fall. Jamal, how do you assess um, how your team played tonight, both the negatives and the positives? Well, that's one of those ones, Josh. Honestly, go back and look at the film. You know, because the emotions of it right now would say that you know we did some good things and we did some things that we have to improve on. Uh, you know, 13 turnovers is you know is a low number, but it still gave up 19 points. So we got to make sure we're taking care of the basketball. And the open live ball turnovers is the ones that hurt the most. Um, I think, you know, depending on what, you know, what angle you're looking at, the foul situations, uh, being able to defend without fouling at the right times, I think that's one thing you have to continue to look at. But obviously going back and looking at the film will be the way to, you know, analyze it a little more. On the foul, on the foul call against Jalen that on that sequence that nearly resulted in a backcourt violation, like I think it was the last 30 seconds, uh, did you attempt to get a ch to get a challenge? By the time I did, he was already at the free throw line. Was that the uh, explanation from the? From the officials that it was too late. I'm to not going to get fined, Josh. I'm not. I, I'm not going to go into the conversation with him. It was a four-three for the Sacramento in that fourth period of play. Keegan had three of them. Did you want to see? You know, you guys try to run Keegan Murray off the line a little bit more. Or what was the game plan just defensively for him in that fourth period? Looking back, jumping into his body. You know, jumping over screens, getting over screens. He hit some tough ones. Uh, there was an offensive rebound that came back out to him, just finding a way to get to him. But again, I, I think he hit some very tough ones that I think they were highly contested. Getting to his body a little bit quicker. Um, but he didn't give him credit. He hit some tough shots. Be beyond the fourth quarter, there's a 13-0 run, I think, in the second, second, on the third quarter, um, and you went five minutes without without scoring. What what did you see during that stretch that that maybe needed to be tweaked and, and eventually did get get did get tweaked? And, and what does it say about the team to be able to respond and, and get back into the game despite going so long without scoring? Well, it says a lot about our ability to get back and you know just stay stay poised uh, no matter what. Um, I think there was a, often times that we just missed a lot of open looks. And I think that's how the game started as well. I mean, we had layups at the rim we missed. We had open threes that we missed. Uh, so again, it wasn't like we weren't getting good looks. I think a big portion of it was shots were not falling. When you have a game where it's, you know, everyone says make or miss league. When you have a game where, you know, maybe you go back look and look at the tape and see that there are a lot of good looks, do you, how, do you, do you just shake it off and, and chalk it up to that? Or how do you, how do you respond to, to something where you, maybe you're executing and the shots aren't falling and you don't get the results you want, but you're still doing the right things? You have to stick to the process. Uh, you, I mean, this is one of those games that they, they, the shots were not falling. They hit some big ones, and we missed a lot of big big shots. And similar to that, the last scenario where you know we get three looks at it, three good looks at it, the ball doesn't go in. And so our ability to take the process you know, over the results in this moment is, is something that we'll have to continue to learn from. Coach, uh, J.I. had a you know, tightest career high of 25 points, was really good on the defensive rebounds and uh, just altered so many shots at the rim. Can you just talk a little bit about his his play tonight and what you saw from him? I thought he was great. I thought he did a great job defensively. Uh, you know, obviously finding areas on the floor, they were finding him for his wide open shots, did a great job on the glass, uh, just played with a, a level of intensity and energy uh, that we needed on both ends. Away from Wendell in the fourth quarter, what what led to that? Was it just Jonathan Isaac, or, or what led to not going with Wendell late? 
So I think we just asked that question is, you know, what, how great J.I. was playing. I think you got to go with the rhythm and the flow of the game in those moments. And that's what, what it was for the, you know, for tonight. Coach, how is, uh, how's Caleb doing, first of all? Can uh -huh. you talk about uh, also uh, Paulo's ability again to battle back after a slow start? I think that's the thing that, you know, he's continuing to do, you know, recognizing how teams are playing them. They mixed the defenses up, uh, did a did a good a good job of just trying to find open spots, open looks, uh, passing the basketball. I mean, finding a way to get 27 assists tonight uh, for as a team. Um, if you drop a couple more, sh you know, shots, then you, you have more <laughs> more assists. But uh, Caleb, I think, is going to be reevaluated tomorrow. Just a sore ankle. Coach, you've got three days until your next game. How appreciative are you that you get this time off after a loss like this? That's great. I mean, the guys get be able to recover well. Uh, as hard as we play, we got to make sure that we cover recover the right way and be ready to go. You know, for our next game. Thank you, Coach Mosley. Thank you, guys.